Hey guys, I'm Jay Randall and welcome back to my channel where I discuss wisdom for the modern man. Today guys, the topic of today's video is stop trying to save women. In other words, don't be a captain save a hoe. Now, I'm bringing up this topic because a lot of guys fall into this trap, especially in their early years. Actually, this can happen to guys at any stage in life, to be honest with you. A guy will find a girl and she might be in a unfortunate place in her life. You know, she could be a single mom. She could be, you know, kind of broke, whatever the situation may be, right? And a guy thinks to himself that he should perhaps step in and try to save this woman. I'm gonna tell you this guys off rip. This is gonna save you a lot of trouble in the future, right? The girl that is meant for you, the right woman, your future girlfriend, your future wife, is not a fixer-upper, okay? Your girl is not a project in the works, okay? Any woman that fits that bill of a fixer-upper or a project, you rule those out immediately. Once that, that right there saves you a bunch of time because now every girl that presents herself as though she's in need of of assistance in that way, you can already just disqualify him. That off rip will save you a lot of trouble. Any girl who presents herself in a way that she's in need of saving, you know that's not your girl, okay? For those girls, you just enjoy them where you're at, where they're at, okay? Guys, it is not our job as men to save women from their poor choices, from their bad decisions, from their because most of the times they've put themselves in that situation wherever they find themselves either whether it be broke destitute single mom whatever the case may be it's their poor choices that have ended landed them there and it's not our job to come around and and fix their problems and here's the thing guys i'm gonna tell you how they get most men how most men fall into the trap of becoming a captain save a hoe okay Number one, guys, you have to be aware of your own nature as a guy, okay? There's one thing to be aware of female nature, and there's another thing to be aware of your own nature as a man. As men, it, you must be, know this. It is natural for us to see a woman in need and feel the need to provide for her, feel the need to protect her, okay? That's just our biology. And we must be aware of this fact when we encounter, when we deal with women, because your knee-jerk reaction is to be, is to try to help her out, try to be of assistance. What can I do for you? Can I pay that bill for you? Can I do this? We have to actively suppress and fight our, our biology. We have to fight our nature in this particular instance, okay? We cannot allow ourselves to give into that instinct, okay? So understand that so that when it presents itself, when you feel yourself being like, oh, maybe I should help this chick. You'd be like, oh wait, no, that's just my male nature trying to steer me down the wrong path, okay? So be self-aware of that aspect of yourself. But here's how a lot of men fall into this trap, okay? You'll meet a girl, she's in a bad spot, right? In, in life, wherever that, wherever that is for her and she'll hit you with the sob story. Every single girl who is in need of saving has a sob story to tell. And oh my gosh, is it tragic. It'll go a little something like this. You know, I'm just so, everybody in my life is just so mean to me. Everybody's just you done me wrong in my life, you know? I'm such a good person, but somehow I just keep encountering people who use me, who take advantage of me. This happened to me in the past, and I was so good to that individual, and they screwed me over in this way, and then he left me with a baby, and this and that, and oh, if I could just have someone who just cared about me. If I could just have someone in my life who would support me the way I want to support everybody else. I would be so grateful and my life would be so much better. What you're going to notice is that 
she's gonna give you a sob story and every single fault, every single reason for where she finds herself in life, it's everybody's fault except for hers. It's her mom's fault, it's her dad's fault, it's her, her sister's fault, it's her cousin's fault, it's her teacher's fault, it's her ex's fault, it's her baby daddy's fault. Everybody ha is to blame, they're all cruel, they're all assholes, they're all users, they all abandoned her, and she's just this amazing, sweet individual, and she just can't figure out why everybody's just doing her wrong in life. Just can't figure it out. Now, this is a red flag right here, guys. This is a super big red flag when you notice a woman talking about all her problems for why, where she is at, where she finds herself in life. But not once does she say, you know, I made some really bad decisions. You know what? That was on me. I'm here because for a couple of years of my life, I was just being stupid. It's everybody else's fault and has nothing to do with her. That's a red flag that a lot of guys don't pick up on. Now, I want you guys to really think about this, right? Because do bad things happen to good people? Absolutely. It happens all the time. You know, you, a good person comes across uh, someone who's a, a user and tries to take advantage of that. It happens. Absolutely. But what are the odds? that everybody in this individual's life that she's come across has used her, taken advantage of her, abused her. Everybody's an a-hole and not a good person, but she is just the sweetest person in the world with no flaws and is just a great person and she just doesn't know why. What are the odds of that? Very slim. There's likely a reason why people in her life treat her a certain way. But see, you're not gonna think about that. That's not gonna cross your mind when you come across these types of chicks and you know why it's not? Because you find her attractive. You want to believe her sob story. You want to. Because then you can give yourself a reason to move on to the next step, which is to try to save her. That way you guys can be together and live in this, you know, fantasy, romantic future together that you've conjured up in your head. So you're going to hear her sob story and you're going to want to believe it and you're not going to question the aspects of her story that don't quite add up. You're not going to question it. You're not going to question it till way down the line until you start to feel the pressure of what actually comes along with trying to save one of these hoes. I'm telling you right now, when it comes to the sob story, you need to disengage. All right, don't even listen. Don't take it seriously because I promise you she's gonna paint herself as this poor victim that has done nothing wrong and just doesn't know why people have done this to her and placed her in this place in her life. She doesn't know why. You're gonna find out why. And it's because this individual is heavily flawed, heavily lazy, often very manipulative, uses people in her life. There's gonna be a slew of things, but you're not gonna to wanna to believe that. You're not even gonna think that at the beginning. And that's why I'm telling you, one of the major red flags is the sob story. Woman starts giving you a sob story. Disengage, be very aware of this. And here's what guys will do once they hear the, the sob story, right? They'll start thinking to themselves, oh my God, look at this sweet angel this beautiful sweet angel how could anybody be so cruel to her and and do this to her and leave her like this i can't believe everybody in her life abandoned her and did her so dirty she's so sweet and soft and 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 beautiful you know what maybe what if you start thinking to yourself what if i can be the guy what if I can be that person to give her what everybody else didn't? What if I could be that person to, to be there for her and provide for her and give her that love that she says she's been missing and, and support her? If I could be that guy, then she'd appreciate me and then me and her can just go off into the sunset and have a beautiful life together. The second you start thinking like that, she got you. She got you. Right there, she got you. And that's what most guys are gonna do. 
you're gonna start thinking that you can be everything she hasn't had or she tells you she hasn't had. And that is, if you could just feel that role that she says she's missing, that everything would just be amazing. You effed up right there. You effed up right there. Guys, look, you're wrong. You can't fix these chicks, bro. Look, you will put in all that effort trying to be that thing she says she's never had or hasn't had. And I'm telling you, it will be like pouring and you're it's like it's like pouring all your efforts down a black hole it's like there will be no return on investment bro there'll be no return on investment and oftentimes bro people like the girls that need saving they don't know how to take uh somebody's effort and actually turn it into actually re results okay Oftentimes they'll squander all the efforts you're putting in. For example, I know a guy and he was just taken in order for this girl that he was saving, she was, she was, he was trying to help her save money. So he would pick her up from, uh, from home and take her to work and also pick her up from work, take her back home so that this girl wouldn't have to pay for Ubers and she could just save all her money. All he, all he would tell her is just save your money. To save your money so you can get out of your home situation because she had a very bad home environment to save your money so you can you know get your own apartment and leave that toxic environment and then our relationship will be great you know because then you won't have to worry about your family and the toxicity and we could just live together and have a great life that was the conversation between the two so he was doing all this making her save all this money he's spending all the money on gas she's not helping him out with none of that and bro months of this actually a year of this and guess what you would think after a year of being able to save all of your money and just buy food and that's it that this woman would have a substantial amount of money set aside in order to purchase an apartment and move out of her situation you would be wrong you would be extremely wrong in fact this woman barely had two red cents to rub together. You know why? Because people like this squander opportunity. They take it, they use you just to further whatever useless endeavors they they actually want to get up to. That woman spent money on clothes, on shoes, on, on hotels. That woman did not save anything. That man wasted a year of his life all that money could have went towards um he later told me he was trying to pay off his car he could have paid off his car he invested that time and effort into somebody who didn't deserve it and did not see the value in his sacrifice and that is where a lot of guys fall short is that they think that the effort they put into this individual will at the end showcase a fruitful result they squander it bro they squander which brings me to my next point why you should not be a captain save a hoe is because bro the appreciation is short-lived i'll say that again the appreciation is short-lived the appreciation you had what she had for you quickly turns into expectations and entitlement those thank yous that she was giving you. Oh my God, I'm so grateful. Thank you. You're so amazing. Those that you were getting at the beginning quickly turn into as you shoulds, right? And what you don't realize is that she no longer sees it as you doing her a favor. Okay? No, no, no. You're not doing her a favor anymore. You're now doing your job. I'll repeat that again. You're no longer doing her a favor. You're doing your job. It's your job to help her out. It's your job to take her to and from work. It's your job to give her money to help pay her bills. It's your job to go pick up her, her kid from school and bring him home and cook him food and all this other stuff. It's not a favor anymore, guys. It's your job. And you want to thank you for doing your job, sir? 
You want a thank you? You want appreciation for doing what you should be doing, sir? That's what it eventually turns into. It is a thankless job, similar to the way being a stepdad is a thankless job. It is, guys, don't do it to yourselves, bro. Do not involve yourself in the situation. What I've tend to come to find out is that women, okay, as guys, right? When someone sacrifices for us as guys, it means a lot because as men, everything we get in life, everything that we have in life, we have to have, we have to do it for ourselves. We have to go out there and get it for ourselves. Nobody is giving men handouts the same way they give women handouts for simply existing. So, but the thing is different for women. When a woman is in a dynamic with a guy, it's in their biology to just extract value, to receive things. It's natural for them. It feels normal. So after a while, even if it starts out as you doing her a favor, it starts to, they, they don't know how to appreciate it the same way a man does because we don't receive stuff. For them, it's just like, you're a guy, you're supposed to be doing this stuff for me. You're supposed to be getting me stuff. You're supposed to be helping me out. It becomes just your duty because you're a man and you're a provider, so do your job. And I'm telling you, even if she's throwing you some sex in the situation as well, the sex is not gonna, it, bro, I, I need to explain this, bro. Just because a woman is giving you sex does not mean it is a fair exchange of value for what you're offering her. And a lot of guys make this mistake in thinking, well, she's sleeping with me, so... But that doesn't mean anything. Bro, you put in a year of hard work to earn that money. You are taking literally hours away from your day to go pick up her kid from school or pick her up from work and do all this extra stuff. That stuff will be put into your life to exponentially take you to the next level. But you're dedicating it to this individual where it's like pouring energy into a black hole. Just because a woman is giving you sex does not mean that the transaction is fair exchange for you. Okay, stop being a captain, save a hoe. Stop trying to save these women. They're gonna waste your time, waste your energy, and at the end of it all, that same woman will look you dead in the face. I'm serious. I've talked to countless guys who've been in the situation. That same woman will look you dead in the eye and ask you, what have you done for me lately? And you're going to be sitting there dumbfounded like, what? I spent years doing this for you and that for you and that for you and this for you sacrifice my time whenever you needed me i would be there i would i would drop what i was doing to come make sure you were good i picked up your snot-nosed kid from school i paid that bill on a regular basis but like i said earlier what you don't realize is you're not doing her a favor anymore you're doing your job and i'm telling you like i said I'm about to wrap up the video stop being a captain save a hoe stop saving these chicks it's like they say she don't want to be saved. Don't save her, bro. She's going to end up right back where you found her. I promise you. And guess what? After you've been exhausted and used and you just can't take it anymore and you finally bail and like, you know what? I'm out. I can't do this anymore. Guess what? She's going to want, she's going to go on to the next sucker. Tell him the same sob story about how everybody abandoned her and nobody's been there for her and everybody just uses her and if only she could just have someone there to do what nobody's ever done for her and just support her and love her and care for her. That everything would be amazing. She's gonna tell the next sucker the same story. And the cycle continues. So I'm telling you off rip, you're hanging with a girl, you're chilling with a girl, and she starts telling you about all her problems in her life and all the bills she can't pay. Change the topic. Hey, you seen that movie that came out recently? Blah, blah, blah. You switch the topic, bro. We're not talking about their, their issues and their problems. That's for her to solve. The same way she's not coming to your aid if you need help and you need all this stuff done, bro. She ain't. You think it's going to come to help you and dig you out of your hole? No. If anything, she's gonna overlook you for the next guy who can actually provide her value. So don't sit there 
and think because you're a guy and even if you have, you know, excess resources that you should just waste it on some chick. And like I said, I don't care if she's giving you sex. I really don't give a damn. All right. Stop saving these women. Stop being a captain save a hoe. All right. That's the video, guys. If you got value from the video, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys. Take it easy.